<sighs> okay. Hey guys, how are you doing today? I'm having mental breakdown after mental breakdown. It's a fun time around here. Ah! <laughs> Um, I have filmed so many things, but for some reason, they just all are incomplete, so I figured I could do a little sit down with you guys and kind of explain everything that's going on while piecing all the pieces together, because as you guys know, I film basically my mental health slash self-love slash fitness slash all around well-being journey. <laughs> It's a weird thing to document, but in this lifetime, I feel like it's the one thing that makes sense for me, is figuring out how to fully heal yourself. And part of healing yourself is refining yourself and re-finding everything about you and having to start over in departments you never thought you were going to start over. So. As you guys know, part of my self-love journey, I finally came to the realization that I was just like not in the right relationship whatsoever. No matter what I did, it wasn't ever gonna be right for me. I don't know. It just, I just had that weird aha moment in my self-love journey that I had to step away from a relationship that I genuinely, you know, loved. I was in it for five years I clearly loved it but it was probably the most toxic thing I've ever been a part of in my life a few of you guys know in my little YouTube history that I kind of opened up about how unhealthy this relationship was in the past and I kind of deleted all those videos and deleted that channel just because at that time in my life I really had no knowledge of what I was in and what I was a part of. And then I also didn't realize I'd be going back to it, which is a whole other weird emotional trauma that you do to yourself because you realize that sometimes you abuse yourself. Um, but anyway, <laughs> so I left that relationship 69 days ago. It's been rough. As you guys know, I kind of have showed you guys my codependency withdrawals. I've showed you how I'm like trying to get myself back into the groove of things. And I'm so proud of myself because I was doing those things. But at the same time, I kind of fell off the bandwagon the past two weeks. Hardcore. The codependency withdrawals just like came back with revenge. Basically, they were like, oh, you thought you could defeat us. Let's give you some more. Oh, yeah. It's basically the past five days I've been crying my eyes out. And nothing seems to be working. Well, no, I take that back. It's our subconscious mind. Everything is working. But every time I sit down in front of my camera, this is what happens. Like, even in my therapy session yesterday, like, I just am so sad and I'm so numb that I just don't have a lot to say. And for a while, I was doing really good. I was working out. I was going out and doing things. And I'll be honest with you guys, I... I found out some news I shouldn't have found out, and it wrecked me. But at the same time, it freed me, so I don't know if I should be grateful or angry or just a little mixture of both. But
basically, I'm just, I'm going through it right now. I'm going through that time of your life that you're so afraid it's gonna happen again. You know, heartbreak, big changes, basically a rock bottom again. Unfortunately, which is really hurtful to myself is this is the third rock bottom I've been on due to this person and due to this relationship and due to myself. And I'm just so tired of it and I'm just so tired of being hurt by it that I have nothing left to give. I completely just surrender every ounce of my past relationship back to the world because I just want no part of it or any of the drama or any of any of it anymore. I just, I wish there was like this magic pill I could take that would just erase all of it from my memory. But at the same time, I know that five years from now, I'm gonna look back and be so grateful that all of this happened. And I'm just gonna be so thankful for everything I learned and everything this relationship taught me. But as my young, 24 year old self, I just want to be so done with all of this. I just, I'm so tired of being this sad and not believing in myself this much. And it's crazy, I'm reading this book right now called Attached. And it talks about all the different types of lovers there are. There's three types. There's the secure, there's the anxiety, and there's the avoidant. I'm anxiety through the roof. <laughs> and it's just so crazy because it takes you back to infants. Like they did studies on infants. And I remember being a kid and being so anxious. Like when my mom would leave or when my parent wasn't around like I would be so anxious like I genuinely have always needed my hand being held through things I do in this lifetime and once you find like romantic partners you put that in them and if you have a partner that's not compatible with you it's like the biggest recipe for disaster for your mental health and I'm just like cool so I just did to myself for the past five years awesome honest with you guys like when I'm in this mental state of mind I have intense suicidal thoughts and even though I don't necessarily put those thoughts into action it always scares me that I have those thoughts so repetitively and it's really sad because been here before and normally everyone around me suffers as long as well as me like I'm I'm so emotional I'm so up and down I'm so just not myself and like I would do anything just to shake myself and wake myself back up and come back to life but it's so hard and I do like I have like past week has been the past there was like a week that it was so good I felt so strong and then just from Thursday on I just have been wow wow it's been intense to say the least ago I was in this kind of exact same situation but for the first time and the first time <laughs> oh my god I, I literally thought I, I you know I actually tried I don't talk about it often but it drove me to a place where I literally thought I could not live without him and I decided to 
turn on the fireplace gas and fall asleep next to the fireplace. And I just prayed that if I fell asleep with this gas on, like, it would just, you know, take me out. And I, like, thought of all the ways that would be the least painful. And I just remember, as a kid, my cat turned on the gas in our house and I remember everyone being so sleepy and I was the only one that was kind of awake because I was outside and coming back in and then when my stepmom came home she realized that the gas was on and if it wasn't for me going in and out of the house and just letting my dad sleep they said that he would have died so I just thought of that for some reason when I was in that really dark place in my life and I was like gas I even turned on the stove I turned on the stove and the fireplace gas and I laid right next to the fireplace with a pillow and a blanket and I just cried until I started falling asleep and then thankfully my mom she came because I think I was talking I don't vividly remember everything just because it was so traumatizing that I even did this to my mom but she came in and she immediately smelled the gas and saw what I was doing and freaked out and she dragged me out of the house and she was like, you can't do this to yourself anymore. You have to get out. And that was three years ago. I'm still currently fighting these same battles. And this morning, like, I just was laying in bed and I just I had such a bad therapy session with my mom yesterday and I've been having such a hard time letting go of this relationship and coming to the truth of what the relationship really was and just realizing like I have to start over I was just like I just don't want to live anymore and like I just texted that to my mom and I just totally forgot that like how much I affected her that one time. I actually did try. And then when I had my last mental breakdown, it's not like I was trying, but at the same time I just wasn't eating. I wasn't drinking anything. I wasn't doing anything. I was like literally letting my body die. My mom just was so terrified and it's like I'd give anything just not to be a person that can't pick myself back up like I hate that like if one person that I really love brings me down like I want to end my whole existence due to the rejection when he wasn't even rejecting me, like I broke up with him because of how toxic it was. It's like, I don't know, this is just my biggest, it's like all my biggest nightmare coming true, but it's all like my, the biggest blessings that have ever happened in my life. It's so crazy. It's like that moment that there's like that little girl that's holding on to her big, her like little teddy bear and she loves it so much. And like God has like a bigger teddy bear behind him. He's like, just give me your teddy bear. And for me, it's like, just, I felt like the universe and my higher self are like, just give up this relationship. Like give this up and just watch what's going to happen for you in your life. And like, I have such strong belief and I have such strong hope that like, I'm going to make it out of this a better person and not allow it to destroy me but at this current moment it feels like it is destroying me it feels like I am drowning in pain and I just don't know how many more days of drowning in pain I can handle and I'm doing it all I'm meditating I'm journaling I'm hanging out with people I love, I'm eating, I'm working out, I'm doing everything and the pain is just still so vivid. It's so dominant. And the 
one thing I'm giving myself that I pray is the cure to this, and that is time. I know that if I just give this time and if I stay consistent with everything that I'm doing, that hopefully six months from now, a year from now, I'll be so grateful this all happened and I'll be so grateful that I hit this rock bottom again. But dang, I'm so unbearably tired. I'm not doing it with distractions. I'm literally doing this for myself. I'm healing. That's that's my main agenda in this whole next chapter of my life is healing. Just healing every ounce of me. called me immediately after I sent her that text message and she was obviously really scared. She calmed down. She was talking to me and she was just like, you are better than this. You are better than this. so much better than allowing a person that treated me so badly to get this much of a reaction out of me and to take up this much time I forgive him though I forgive myself for just not knowing any better Give myself. Ah, oh, God, I did not plan on getting emotional. I would have put on makeup. <laughs> um, but yeah, I wanted, I want to put this video out there because I, I want to document this, this part. really freaking hard part called life that I know will end one day and I know the way I look at life will be so much happier again one day I just gotta bulldoze through these emotions and keep fighting every day as hard as it is but mom told me just to curl up in a ball and cry my eyes out all day and just to feel it and don't run and that's what I'm gonna do but I'm also putting new standards on myself because I'm realizing how weak I actually am in this department and I'm gonna be making a lot of changes hopefully healthier changes to keep me on schedule one thing I do know I have to give up again is social media. Not like get it up where I'm going to delete it. I just need to give up my phone and give up social media for at least 30 days. Like I just, I really need to get back into just healing and like thinking of myself only and just not looking for things that are going to hurt me. Oh, my camera just constantly wants to die, so I'm going to take it as a hint that it's time to wrap up this video. I didn't mean for this in, for this video to be as intense as it kind of was, but I also want it to be truthful that some heartbreaks feel like this, and it's a normal thing. It's so normal to have your heart completely destroyed over a person and I'm going through it currently because I believe that after this heartbreak I will find a love for myself that I didn't know existed which then will in return 
allow me to find another person that loves themselves just as much as I love myself and together I could finally experience a healthy long-term relationship in my life rather than the unhealthy one I have just been in for the past five years. Which five years sounds crazy to me. Like I can't believe it was five years of that much chaos and it went by so quickly. And how much time and things I destroyed and what I could do in the next five years that hopefully will refuel my life. So even though I am currently down, even though I am currently going through <laughs> the hardest, one of the hardest times of my life, again. I'm just gonna try to stay as strong as I can and pray that everything I'm doing is gonna be worth it. But for now, thank you so much for watching one of my videos yet again. And everything I have said in this video, I don't take lightly. I know how real of a suicide thing is and I don't say my story lightly I'm not sharing my story for anything besides allowing you to know it's normal to have those thoughts and if you are having those thoughts you really need to take care of your mental health you really need to get in touch with people you love and you really need to rebalance yourself because once those, start, those thoughts start coming that's when it's time to be very cautious of what's going on in your mind. It's like, think of a person in a hospital. It's like, not as bad as when the person flatlines, but it's that part where it could happen. And like, what do doctors do? They swarm them, they do everything they can. They keep a big eye on them. And like, if you're having those thoughts, like you need to tell the people around you, so that you can take care of yourself and like come back from that because there are so many people in this world that keep following the thought and fortunately take that road and I don't plan on ever being one of those people but I do very much so feel like I walk in some of the same shoes that those people battle and I just work really hard not to allow that to happen so I'll be over here healing as quickly as tensely as patiently as kindly as I possibly can because Lord help our souls for those of us who choose to go on a healing journey it is so unbelievably but I believe it will be so unbelievably, magically worth it. So, cheers to that. And as you guys know, and as I need to remind myself today, you are what you think about. <laughs> Have a great day, guys, and thank you again so much for watching.